Yo, what is going on with you guys? Welcome to that video. Another review because one of my family members just sent me another replay fight. And we're gonna look over that. It is Robert Jordan. He used to be a, a member. He just did an upgrade and now he's a family member. If you didn't know, guys, I provide these gameplay reviews and videos for my family members. Yeah, so if you are a family member of this channel, hey, you can send me your replay file. And I will look over it. If you want to have a replay for you guys, if you want to have like such a Wukong coaching, go ahead and um, you can become a family member or you can send my stream and collect the points and you can then redeem these points and get um, a coaching for free basically. All right. So in this one, my boy Robert, he just sent me an email and he said he won and I felt I was a major contributor as i try to focus on team playing and making small plays but considering the game lasted so long despite us all being fed i don't know if i was doing something fundamentally wrong or what i play wukong the Leona support so that is a wukong support a main guys next to leona and we're gonna have a look over that i did this on stream i played a couple games wukong support on stream so i know what to do okay i know what to do as wukong support and we're gonna look over that i will try to sp uh, to um split this in the early the mid and the late and we will look over that and we're gonna check first things first we're gonna check out his uh items that he just bought so we got um the support item i don't even know the name to be honest but this is what are you what are you supposed to go for okay the support item and we got two health potion two health potion guys and this is what you're supposed to do this is from that i can say this is good all right so in on his runes we can see he's running lethal tempo though I would not run Lethal Tempo on uh, the bot lane. I would go for, what's it called, for Conqueror. You could go for Lethal Tempo on some matchups on the top lane. Um, but definitely that is not as um, Wukong support. I would go for Conqueror. I think Conqueror is much better than uh, Lethal Tempo for Wukong support. That's just my opinion right there. And we see a play here. Nice. That was nice. They could have committed that and, and killed the what's it called. Um... To be honest that could have been a kill let's go back really nice i like how he sidestepped that he blocked the the hook by thrash with he blocked the hook by thrash with with his uh, clone i like that so l l let's have another look see on that boom 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 he thought i think he thought ash is solo because fresh went for the warding over here so he thought okay ash is solo he, she's alone so i'm just gonna engage on him i like how he then used the clone to like block the hook but that's it he just used his hook and he used his e so why would you not go on that like this is free kill right here both of them are backing for some reason. You could have just gone on this guy on 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 fresh. Uh, uh yeah, on fresh and ash. You could you could have killed that. But now you are sucking a lot of damage because of that. And you almost died. All right, he just back. He's coming back with let me see. Um a long sword. You should have bought a control ward to be honest. We have 4 minutes in, so most likely um most likely jungler will show up soon. Four minutes in um this is pushing out all right your line is pushing so that means you have also no wards over here so the first thing is you should do right here is like you should have bought a control ward you should have watered this here and maybe drop a ward over here as well because um trindamir is pushing like of course right now he's trading but he will gen then go back to to push this wave out and in order to push a wave you you need wards to be safe because most likely what the jungler will do is like they they will gank you at around this minute all right we have four minutes in and if we look at the right here um in the river we just uh got a uh, kill on virgo so that means um fresh and diana are around here even though you cannot see them they are around here and maybe diana will show up on the on the bot lane so the chance is high that um diana will show up on the bot lane so you needed wards right here and they are heading towards bot lane so fresh will return to the bot lane anyways all right he went mid lane to do this gank over here together with diana so we know fresh will return to the lane okay we don't know which way all right because uh you 
let me just yeah this is what we see okay right now this is what wukong sees so we had fresh over here did it kill so we don't know if he backed or not or is he returning and if he is returning is he going to take this way or is he going to take this way so we don't know in order to to know that guys we have to drop a word over here and here all right because this is pushing this is so dangerous right here let's see what happens though i'm gonna bring back um i'm gonna bring back this perspective so we can see what is going on so fresh not nah, fresh is actually taking this way he threw he threw the lantern and there is the gang ash cannot follow this up this is actually actually this is um not really good by these two players first of all fresh is low on mana all right and then we have diana if wukong and trindami focus the diana they can just kill them even though they get ganked because ash cannot follow up she's like tanking a lot of minions right here and she is low as well so maybe you win this and there we go i think you win this yeah really good nice focus by you guys the flash wasn't necessary right there trindami flashed for no reason but do you get what i'm what i'm trying to say guys like um this went good for Wukong, but it could have been the opposite, okay? Could have went the opposite. Because you want to have wards over here so you can see who's coming in order to push this wave, alright? This time, he got away with that, alright? So we're gonna have another look over there. The flash over there wasn't necessary. Now return on this guy, nice. Keep auto attacking, keep auto attacking. Nice. There we go. We got the flash. Now push out this. You gotta push out this. You can kill uh, Ash, maybe. W into E. Yeah. There we go. You can dive this, by the way. All you gotta do is like bait out the hook, maybe. Now you about wanna bait out the hook first. Anyways. It went good for you. Let me see. See? There we got, uh, what's it called? Let me, let me just go back a little bit because I wanna see if he needed my mana for this. So, uh, 70 mana, he was on 86. So he could have hooked the Wukong. Really mis uh, really bad play by Fresh, by the way. So, um, you went lucky on there. So, how much is this? 60 mana. What did he do? Oh, he used the Lantern. Oh, this is like a really bad play by Fresh. You went, you were lucky, bro. Robert, you were lucky right there because usually what Fresh does is they use the E. So they can just throw you back. The second you E on her, on Ash, Fresh, all he has to do is like use his E to like knock you back. And this is, and he used actually his W and lost the mana. So he couldn't use like E. So this is really bad. So uh, this was super lucky by you guys. Nice. But still nice. All right, we got Warwick. It's a little bit greedy overall. Okay, still nice. It's still, it's still okay. It's still okay, because uh, their bot lane is losing the whole wave right here. They're gonna lose the whole CS right here. This is a really good dive right there, killing Fresh and uh, Ash and make him make him make him lose uh, these CS is really good. All right, so the the enemy lane, the enemy CS is, is pushing into your uh, turret. So all you gotta do is like stay back here. Um, you got the bone plating, it's okay. We have the jungler coming, so I would bait a fight right here. I would have like actually fought this because we had backup by the jungler. But maybe you will get a kill here. There is the hook on the Trindamir. Yeah, nice, nicely done. Really nice, but you know sometimes. You gotta have some map awareness because we had uh, Viego um, on our side. He's bot side right now, so you could you could have gone for this 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 trade right there for this fight. All right, here is now. Let me see what what they do. Okay, they wanna do uh, Drake. I think they want to do Drake. So here's what you what do we want to do, guys? Um, push out wave first, and then go Drake. All three together. Push the wave. Okay. Let this here crash into the turret, because um, Fresh is not here anyways. All right. Um, Varvik's over there. 
but fresh is not here anyways we are three people so push this out this is what we want to do okay push this out and then go all three together and do the drake right there all right this is what you want to do um this is okay too if he leaves him so he can like solo xp on this lane because he doesn't really need help uh, pushing out this wave because he's so far ahead. Boom, there's the kill. There's even another kill. So this is f this is okay too. But usually in a um, close match, you want to push out first the wave and then go together for the Drake. But in this one here, they got a wave with that. So it's it's fine too. So now you need to like push it in. We got like three, four minutes over here. Um, what Wukong support should do right now is like check this bush if there is a control ward like it is right now you want to clear that instead Trindomir is doing it so you should do that um, world the area um, clear this area so you, we can see if someone comes and you need to push this out because of that look at that look at this because you are staying like in the brush and doing basically nothing and Trindomir had to like uh, clear this ward over here and drop a ward over there which is like your task um the wave was kind of frozen over here so he had to like push it in make sure to like crash it into the turret while you check the area um to make it safe to make this push safe because right now you are like you two are lurking around here having no clue what to do um overstaying okay you are vulnerable now to gangs and look at that we got diana coming in okay we got diana coming in because she just noticed okay these two people are overstaying we can go for a catch here and guess what if we got like um ash is not six but if we got ash on six she can just throw throw the arrow and um stun one of you and this will be a super easy gank for um diana with all the cc they have okay diana has cc we got cc on fresh we got cc on ash so it's a really easy catch if you overstay like that And this is exactly what is happening here. See this? She's clearing the ward. Okay, but she didn't notice that you were overstaying. Okay. So again, you get lucky right there. Um, Echo is trying to fight both of them. Because Diego is in next to him. This is a really bad fight by the enemy team. And of course you win this. They should back off. I don't know why Warwick is still like also um, suiciding right there. All right, let me see what he does now. So th they are pushing it in. Let me see how he behaves. Nice. I like to see that. Yes, this is what I was talking about earlier. Earlier on, uh, this is what I was talking about right there. Nice. Nice. I like this move too. Really good, really good. He looks for a gang on the mid lane. I like that a lot. Let me see what happens. And then we're gonna talk about the whole action, okay? Boom, there is the gang. Nice. Well done. Well played. Well played, Robert. So, let me explain what he did and what he had to do, okay? So, they were pushing out this wave. The, the wave was over here um, damaging the turret. All right, so Wukong is useless staying around here. You can just leave Trindamir because Trindamir is ahead anyways. What Wukong has to do in this situation... Let me see what happens over here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me pause that real quick, okay? What Wukong has to do, or the supporter in general, is to make sure that this entrance right here is not watered or... Is cleared okay so they say stay safe they have to drop a ward over here because Trindamir was sitting next to the turret so he was super vulnerable to ganks so a supporter has to go up move up over here and uh, drop a ward and clear a ward if there is a ward inside that brush and this is what he did a really good move and then he was like okay I'm useless anyways let me just uh, give him solo plates right there um, he's super strong, my Trindamir, my ADC, you can say, is super strong anyway. So I'm just gonna look for a roam. He saw Warwick overstaying right there. Um, no point in staying over here. So he made the roam to the mid lane, catched the Warwick with, caught the Warwick w with uh, the ult. And we got a kill. Yeah, this is exactly what we have to do. And then, let me see what happens then. So there's the kill. Now you gotta push. 
Nice. Help Echo to push it out. Really nice. Good macro. Boom. He leaves the last hit for Echo. You can then help him with the plates. Also good. But then you back off. Now you back off. Only one plate. See? Now, now you're overstaying a little bit. This is not good. This is a little bit too much. Echo has no mana. But... Do we get the kill? Nice, man. Let's go, Robin. All right, uh, French is like overstaying, man. Again. Ah, oh, shit. He got, just got sniped right there, man. He got, just got sniped. Um, that was a little bit greedy, not gonna lie. Uh, usually, you will get punished for it. But in this case, you are lucky that um, actually Fresh got baited by Echo, uh, by Echo's health bar, you can say. But you played it really good on the other side. On the other, other side, this was super greedy. But you played it super good. Well done, man. Well played, Robert. All right, so we got Drake time. Um, so that means you need to uh, go to the Drake. And this is what you're doing. This is good. And you are pinging it. You are on the way. We got three people of your team over here. Um, we need some wards. You got to drop down some wards. You got a ward over here. But we need a ward over here. This is what you had to do right there. This is not too late though. Let me go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit more. So we need a ward over here. We don't got vision over that. So this is what he, what you had to do right there. So instead you're dropping a ward over here. You should have just went over here straight and, and dropped the ward over here. So now they got zoned out. Out of the river. And uh, I like how you are waiting. You are waiting for your team. I like that. Okay. Because Mordecai is not on place. Um, Diego is not on place. Trindam is not on place. So you are waiting. You are doing. Uh, you are not fighting. This is really good. Because sometimes. Listen. Listen guys. Sometimes you got to give away Drakes. Okay. It's not worth it um, to, to fight a Drake. If you don't got the team next to you. It's better to give away this Drake. Instead of like giving away the Drake. And giving away kills. Okay, so sometimes you gotta just give the Drake. It is what it is sometimes, okay? In this case, he's waiting for his team. I like that move. You can now position Trindamir and yourself over here, take the blast cone and engage on these people. Once Mordekaiser and Viego is like around here, then you do this. Blast cone over the wall and start the fight. Only then. If they don't enter the river, you don't do that, okay? So let me see what happens here. Yo, this is a little bit too early. And without the Trindemir. This is too early a little bit. So, so now you just engage on these people. And we got no follow up. Like look at this. Mordecai is also over here. Vega's over here. Trindemir is over there. You just took the blast cone. So he has either to slide over the wall. But I think he will save it. I'm not sure. We will see. But I think he takes this way. The whole way he's going to take it. Because he want to save the slide for the team fight, I think. And he's not going to slide over the wall maybe. Alright. So just because you took the blast cone. This was a misplay right there. You're engaging on people. And, don't, and you don't got your own people next to you. This is not good. So we're going to slow it down a little bit. And see what happens. Alright. So you're still, engage, you're still fighting them. Without having your people next to you. And you're getting um, Ash altered. While Diana is still doing the Drake. And now you got two members of your team next to you. Right now we needed the engage. Not before they arrived here. So let, let me see what happens. So Mordecai just pulled in the Ash. You knock him up another time. And Trindemir, just like I said, did he uh, use it? No. Just like I said, no. Let me see what Tundame does. Because he slided over here. So he, I think he's just safe to slide right there. Yeah, he just... See? He took the whole wave over here. The whole uh, way, I mean, over here. Uh, just to save the slide. Alright? Because he took the blast goal. So he was a little bit too late to the party. Right there. So now he still didn't use his slide. Now he's using his slide. Alright? So, let me sum this up. You lost the Drake anyways. You died, you even died, so you gave away your kill. 
Um, we, we, we get to kill Diana. This is good. We get to kill Ash. This is good too. Turn the mid dies. Another kill for the enemy team. And there is the kill on Warwick. Really close one. Really close one. So don't get me wrong, okay? Um, your, your team has the upper hand. Don't get me wrong, okay? Your team definitely has the upper hand. And you can fight that any day. But not without your team. This is really important. Not without your team. So they will 100% lose this fight. If you got your team next to you. So you gotta wait. So map awareness is really important right here. Okay. You gotta improve that Robert. You gotta wait for the engages until um, your team is next to you. N next to you. I mean like really like an inch away from you. So they can just participate in that. But Because don't forget. You can dash twice. You can dash with your E. You can dash with your W. And you can just. Um, the distance that you can run is like. It's like huge compared to your enemy team to like Mordecai who has who has no dashes. All right, he gotta go all the way down to the dragon pit in order to participate on that fight, and that takes time. And you gotta respect that and give him that time. And then you actually would have won this team fight without losing any of your members. Maybe you would have lost the Drake, yes, I give you that, but you would have not lost any of your team members. This is what I'm trying to say here. So they would have like traded the Drake for like four kills without you guys um, losing any one of you. All right. All right. So we have, uh, look, you can say 14 minutes and the mid game is about to um, start. Laning phase, you can say, is almost over. Um, now the question is, the question is, guys, to you as well, who's watching the video. What is he supposed to do at this minute as a supporter? Okay, he's a supporter. Don't forget about that. He has a super strong ADC. We call him ADC. It is trending me. Okay, ADC super strong with some good items, man. He got he got some good items. All right, strong ADC. He can just run down the ash, and even though he gets CC'd, he can just pop his ult, and everything is okay. So he can still go for him a kill. Do I need to stay next to my ADC in this case? So what is your call in this situation, guys? You can tell me that in the comment section. I'm going to tell you my call, all right? As a supporter, as a Wukong supporter, um, especially with a knock-up, with a double knock-up, it's right now on cooldown, yes, 60 seconds, it's okay. Um, I would go and look for a gank, either top lane, so I would not path this way. I would path this way, because Trindamir doesn't need me. Um... You can see he can just collect these minions by his own. I don't need to stay next to him. So I would go rather to... Um, not here. I would go top lane to gank this knock. And to help Mordekaiser. Alright. So we got nothing over here to gank. So I just path this way. Alright. Take that, take this way. Go through that. And even though... Look, look at this. We got a control ward over here. So it's really safe to take this way. He would have not noticed that. All right, because this his ward is um, disabled, so that would have been a really good gang right here. Okay, so let me see what he does. Shut down. Ooh, he even died. Mordecai even died. Okay, you could have collected this kill. Kill. That's an easy kill for you. So let me see what he does. He goes bot lane. For what reason? What, what what's the reason now? This is pushing anyways, like. We don't need champions over here to push it out. Alright, you got one minion, two minions, three minions. Okay, you got like around 60 gold. What do you do now? See? This is what I'm trying to say here. Nothing. So, going to the bot lane, moving to the bot lane was super pointless. Super pointless. You could have killed the Gnar right there and like collected, I don't know, 300 gold. Um, help the what's it called the Mordecai's revenge uh, probably but he went just bot lane to collect like 60 gold and that's it and then you can do nothing all right so Trindemir can do this on his own and stay here you can go for a uh, gang so let me see what he does now he drops a ward over here this is also really important before you leave the lane make sure that your ADC is safe so that means you drop wards around that area over here okay so you drop a ward over here drop a control ward over here maybe 
and you can also drop a word over here in this bush over here or you drop it over here okay so then you have this area the complete area over here covered with words and you see and your adc can see if someone comes and this is really important and i liked it he did it he like he dropped the word over here dropped the word over here it's okay it's fine he goes for a gang finds himself into uh three people yeah and he backs off <laughs> nice you realize okay um my team is not following sometimes this is what happens this is what happens let me just go back uh and you don't want to use your decoy like that you are not an assassin bro let me go back all right there is the move diana just noticed okay wukong is coming you don't want to do that what's the reason of that what what's the reason robert tell me that in the comments like why are you using I see, I see this so many times on wukong players what's the reason using the decoy here is it because diana not to hit you i mean she can just walk next to you you can just you, she can just walk up and what, so what's the point here um you don't want to use a decoy like that because you need it to to combo right there you 100 percent will need it to combo to do your combo correctly because um e auto q alt into uh, Q into old you need the decoy for it and uh, you are just throwing it away So now imagine Imagine this Let me just uh, show you what I'm talking about A good a good fresh this is not a good fresh I can tell already a good fresh would have hooked you right here Okay, he would have hooked you right there Diana then would have followed with a Q into a jump and maybe ult or Varvik maybe ult. He would have like stunned you like with the hook like stunned you kinda. So all the abilities that they have to hit Fresh would make it would make it sure that these people are gonna hit their abilities. So a good Fresh would have hooked you right there brother and then you would have died right there because you just left your decoy because you wanna you need the decoy right here you can use the decoy for example if he he tries to hooks you you can use decoy to just sidestep it for example this is not a good fresh though okay but i like how you realized okay the situation is too dangerous i need to piece it out and you just piece it out i like that really nice all right, you try another gank. I like that. You're still hovering around uh, mid lane. <clears throat> Let me see what you do. You are on the control. Uh, you are on the ward though, so they know you are here. But <laughs> Warwick, Warwick is not realizing it. Warwick is not realizing it. Okay, here it is okay. It is okay to use your decoy like that because he didn't realize it. He didn't realize that you are actually about to gank him. So it is okay to like use your decoy right here. So he cannot see you. In, in these kind of situations, you can use decoy like that. Because if you like piece it out, out of the brush, you can just uh, stay in this until over, until over here. And then connect everything with your E. So this is okay. First blurry. I like that. I like that. That was close. Not gonna lie. All right, we got 17 minutes in, guys. And I'm asking you again, guys, below the comments, if you want to respond. What is the call right here? Mordecai is pushing top lane. He's about to take that turret. We got Nar on the mid lane. We got Viego over here. Uh, the enemy jungler is, like, pathing this way, I think. I'm not sure. But it looks like she's pathing uh, towards the wolf. Uh, we got Echo on the mid lane. We got Varvik um, lurking around here. And we got Ash and Fresh backing. But we don't know that because he, they are backing in a brush. Alright. So what's the call, guys? What is he supposed to do in this situation? There is no turret anymore. So what's the, what's, what's the, what's the, what's the call here, guys? Tell me that in comments. So I'm going to tell you what I would do. Okay. 
And of course, you can have your own opinion, but this is only my opinion. We got Drake coming up. Someone pinged it even. Can we have chat? Yeah. Someone pinged it. Nar pinged. I mean, the enemy team pinged it. Okay. So no one on um, his team pinged it. This is what you should do. You should ping it right now. You should ping um, Drake. One minute for Drake. And the call would be here for you as a Wukong support or as a support in general is um, definitely not go over here. I see so many supporters try to push out this wave. Why would you push out the wave? These are like three, four, five minions that Trindamy can farm up and there is not a fucking wave coming up. Let the ADC farm it. You don't need to farm it. Okay. Leave it for the ADC. So he will turn the mirror, can go on his lane, farm this out, push it out and let it crash into the turret because he has uh, another minute time until the Drake comes up. Wukong's task should be here toward this area. This is all he got to do. So let me see. Let me check if he got a uh, control ward at least. So we got no control wards. We got no sweeper. Okay. You need to, to, to ward this area and sweep this area as well. So what we need is like you can drop a ward over here. And you can drop a control ward over here, okay, or over here. Because most likely um, the team will, f the enemy team will fight for it, and there will be a fight over here because of the control ward. So you can kind of bait a uh, control ward fight. This should be uh, cleared by someone, the scuttle. And um, you should drop a ward over here, all right? So ward over here because you got the ward item. So there it is. Rune steel spoilers. You drop a ward over here. You drop a ward over here. Maybe control ward. You can also drop a control ward over here, and a ward over there. All right. Um, sweep this area. Sweep the whole area. If you drop a control ward over here, you don't have to uh, sweep this area. But you only drop a control ward over here if you got your team around here. Because if you drop it too early, they will just clear it. Warwick will just clear it, and you will lose that control ward for no reason. So if you want to like deny. Um, a vision for the enemy team just in case they drop a ward over the wall and then it gets disabled by the control ward I can see that okay but if you drop the control ward too early they will just clear it so you need your team around around you so I drop only a control ward over here if I got my team around me okay if not you just drop a normal ward over here you just wait and, ten, and, and then if you got your team around you you, you then and if you if your team starts the drake you can then drop the control ward to like disable all the wards by the enemy so let me see what he does we're gonna speed it up a little bit he's checking brushes scuttle taken by what's it called by warwick enemy jungler died this is great there is a ward. You clear that with your sweeper. But hey, you got no, you got no sweeper. There's a problem. You cannot clear that. You cannot clear that. So imagine having sweeper now. You have, you would have sweeped this the whole area right here. You would have, you have, you would have like uh, taken this ward, destroyed this ward, and maybe another ward over here. So definitely you needed a sweeper right there. You drop a ward over here. Okay. Better is to drop the ward over here in this brush. Because right now you don't know if someone is like hiding in there. <clears throat> so I'm still waiting and, and, and still waiting to see what he does. So the Drake is now up. We got an enemy ward over here. Do you see that? But you got nothing to clear that. I'm assuming you saw Ash and Fresh and Warwick on the top lane. Okay, then you can just start it. But imagine they would they did a big mistake right there. Sending three people while it's Drake time, it's super bad. And this is a big mistake by the enemy team. A good Mordekaiser call right there. He just killed the Warwick and he kept them busy. He kept the enemy team busy so that that's a free drake for you guys so really good but in in general you don't want to do that 
okay you don't start the drake like that if you don't have vision over the enemy team only if you have vision over the enemy team then you you start it in this case totally okay totally fine you still drop a control ward to clear that um uh, more like to to disable this ward you need that sweeper you need that control ward at this stage of the game 18 minutes in definitely look don't get me wrong guys don't get me wrong man i'm going hard on this robert man i'm going hard on you robert but these are like little minor mistakes that can cost you the game believe it or not because if they have vision over the drake like something like lux let's say can just snipe it can just snipe the drake and the drake is gone why because you had no sweeper bro you fuck goddamn and had no control war for that and then they just take the drake and guess what what happens is you ping smite of uh, the jungle you ping the smite boom 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 and what happens then you start to chat okay people start to chat but we are not here to chat guys to have a chat we are here to get, play the game to win the game okay but this is sometimes something that can cost you the game because then the tilt level will race on another level and people will flame each other you fuck you're, you're a useless jungler you are a useless jungler you cannot even smite watch some king kong ll videos he's the best fucking smite at your west Okay, and then they will just flame each other and just because of that little mistake right there, you had no sweeper. That's why you had no sweeper. Okay, we got uh we got mid game. We got Mordecai's on the top lane. Um we got these three people, uh, Echo being low. We got these three people um on the mid lane. We got Viego in the jungle, um looking for the scuttle, I guess. So, um let me see what they do. Let me see what, what happens here. So Varvik is moving. You guys should move too. Like there is a scuttle and uh, there will there will be a fight right there. You still move. Nice, good catch. We got the catch on uh, Fresh, and I think we will get the catch on what's it called? There we go. We got the catch on uh, Varvik as well, and we get scuttle right there. All right, nice, 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 nice. All right. So, I'm going to pause it right here. There is another Drake coming up. There is another Drake coming up, guys. So, what's the call right now? We got Ash over here. We got uh, two of the enemies in our jungle. Why are they our, in our jungle? That's the question right here. Because we have no wards. We cannot see them. And now it's super dangerous to enter the own jungle, guys. We got only a ward over here, which is a really bad ward, by the way. But, um, what's the reason? Like, why are they having so much power over you guys? It's because, it's because you're not focusing on what is going on over here, which is the Drake. And because we don't have much wards over here, around here. We need you, supporter, to sweep that area and to drop some control wards. We need that. Because right now, they just uh, have a... They have a ward over here and a ward over here and they can just enter the whole jungle right there. And it's super dangerous for you guys to enter it as well. So, what you have to do in this case is to push out this wave. Someone has to push it out, okay? Viego is completely on the wrong side, by the way. Um, someone has to push this out because the more you push it out, the more vision you will get. Right now, this everything over here is empty. Okay, let me just point that out you can only see until here do you see this line guys only until here everything else is dark you got a ward over here some random ward over here so the only thing you can see is this we got no vision this is about to uh, disappear we got no vision over the drake we got no vision in our own jungle so we don't know what is happening we know a little bit because of this ward we know fresh is over here but we have no vision uh, about the rest of the team, okay? So the rest of the team could be here, I mean the enemy team, could be here, could be around here, could be around here. So it's super dangerous right now, just because you not dropping wards, my friend. So let me see what happens here. So we need, again, we need wards. We need wards because it's Drake time. And someone has to push this out and it's not you it's it has to be someone else because you 
uh, try to clear wards. You have to clear wards in this uh, stage of the game. There's a really good catch right here. That's a really big mistake by the enemy. Not respecting you. Being the Wukong support right here. Nice. There is a kill on both of them. Really nice catch by you. And this guy is also out of position. Super out of position right here. So, so see, um, you guys are like, uh, yeah, you benefiting out of the mistakes of the enemy team. Drake is gone too, but the Drake is gone. Okay, so let me just bring it up again. Uh, Diana just it, it took the Drake right there, but it's still not worth it because three of them just died right there for no reason. So you guys are benefiting from the mistakes of the enemy team, but what they had to do. What the Wukong's team had to do right there was someone pushes out this uh, wave, this lane. Wukong had to like clear wards over here, drop a ward, clear ward over here, drop a ward, and see if we drop a control ward over here, like step by step, you know. So let me see what happens here. Um, there you go. Overstaying a little bit, greeting. We got the enemy team here. This is like super greedy. It's like not your fault and this is nothing you can any, you cannot do anything about that okay sometimes you, you you have the you get you get these dumbasses in your team they just don't understand what to do and they just greet and overstay and enter their enemy jungle not respecting the enemy jungle entering it and then they just die like that there's nothing you can do about that sometimes it ain't what it, what it is but the thing you can do is to minimize uh, the mistakes all right the costs you can say so I definitely don't want you to contribute contribute is this how you say it on this okay I just want you to stay away and let me see what you do you're staying away this is good so there is not a fight happening over here they got away though oh it is not looking juicy this is not looking juicy so this is like three versus three but the fourth is coming there's the knock up mordecai is super strong by the way there's the kill on warwick there's the kill on fresh there's a triple kill on them by my boy robert he's like he's not i don't give a shit what you're saying king Kai. i'm just gonna go in there but this is usually don't want <laughs> something that you don't want to do okay all right, um, Mordecai is, a, is super strong in this case. Echo is also a broken champion, so you won this fight. Um, basically because of your ult, I, I think. Boom. Yeah, and Ash being super dumb, not gonna lie. Ash and Fresh are super dumb. Like, look at this Ash, like, like really. Wait a sec, why is he moving? into that fight like a retard let me see like a moron she's like moving into them wow like ash is super bad i can tell you that guys you maybe would have even lost that fight if ash wasn't that bad but nice okay okay nice usually you don't get away like that but hey in this case, I think <laughs> you get away with that. So then you push out the wave. This is really good. You take a uh, you take a turret, nice, and you take an hit. This is what you have to do. Twenty five minutes in. What about that, guys? What about Baron? No question mark. I would have backed here. I would have taken the turret um, in hip. And why we taking the inhib? I would have pinged the Baron. So these two, sorry for that, but these two idiots, they move this way and not this way. All right, a good jungler will see that. Okay, will see that opportunity. They they will be like, okay, oh shit, we can do Baron, and they will just move this way instead of like moving uh, bot side for some reason. All right, so 
ping this while you are taking the inhib while you're taking the turret and the inhib just ping it so they know okay we are down for it we are down to uh, take the baron because you can take baron right there if they just go for it and start it turn the me crits a lot i think uh viego crits a lot too let me see his items yeah he got some he got one crit item though but he got a uh, blade of the rune king so you can just melt this baron so easy you melt this baron easy in like a matter of like i don't know seconds so definitely go for Baron here. Instead of this, whatever you try you guys trying to do. At least Mordecai is trying to take another in him, but this is also really risky. Because of the death timer. So uh, do they lose here? Do they uh, die here because of that? Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. Another death. So they can they can go now for Baron. And this is how you can lose games, okay? This is how you can lose games, guys. Just because of that. Just because of you, Robert. Don't get me wrong, you're doing fine, okay? But this I'm I'm just I'm just telling you what he can do even better. In this case, you wanna ping the Baron because you always, you always, if you enter solo queue, you gotta enter this solo queue with the mindset of I will have four morons on my team and I gotta tell them what to do. And in this case, what he had to do is like ping baron pink parent so these two people these two idiots don't like waste their time whatever they are doing right now it's super wasted now they move this way and you guys back off instead of like doing what over here like trying to get this turret no death timers guys you gotta you gotta pay some attention to the ta death timers in it you can also not take the inner you go back you take these two objectives go back baron that's it now three people of you died and they can do the Baron if they are smart. Let me see if they are smart. Let me, let me bring up the cam. All right. See? Someone is pinging it. They're doing Baron. And these two people are not even realizing it. I mean, Viego is, is, is really autopiloting in this game. Not gonna lie. At least Trundami is moving. But he's moving only to get some chickens. And then the Baron... Uh, raw right there and the team just realized it. Oh shit. They took Baron. How did they take Baron? Well, it's because of uh, I don't know what fresh is doing here by the way You got Baron just go back like what? So you can see fresh most Robert most of your place comes from mistakes by ash and fresh Ash and fresh are super bad and they are doing like horrible mistakes and because of that you are getting away with like mistakes all right and i i don't want you to do these mistakes in the future so let me see what do you do now so they got baron let me see what the enemy team does so you guys are hiding in this brush i don't know why in this case, you want to push out waves. All the waves are pushed out. It's okay. Top lane is pushed out. Mid lane is pushed out. Uh, bot lane is pushed out. Vigo is pushing it out. He has to like get these minions in the back port. Most of the most likely the enemy team will group up on the mid lane and try to push out this wave and take the turret on the mid lane and another turret. This is what most of the people do. Not these people, apparently. They got Baron and she's somewhere in the jungle. This guy is somewhere in the jungle. And Ash is like solo on the mid lane when they should all be here. They should all be on the mid lane and like push it out. Maybe one one guy with the TP could go on the side lane and and, and try to split the enemy uh, the enemy team. Yeah, your team basically. So let me see what happens here. So you see Diana for no reason. Like, here's the question, man. Diana, why the fuck are you here? Why the fuck are you here? What are you what are you trying to do? Like what's the point here? What's the point? You got Baron. Like what's the point on being here? Like I'm so angry. This makes me so angry, really. Yeah, there we go. Now you die with Baron. Boom. GG. Now you push out this wave and take in it. Robert's team. Robert's team, what do you do? No, this way. This, hello, hello, hello. They go mid lane. First of all, you don't have to be mid lane. 
You can just push out this wave. Take the inhib, go for Drake. That's, this is another question here. What is Fresh doing here? Let me go back. What is Fresh even doing here? Why the fuck is Fresh over here when we got like the enemy team on the mid lane? See how they are doing mistakes and you you guys are like like uh, are benefiting because of these mistakes? You would have died. This is so this is so bad actually. You would have died with a good fresh. This is how you can lose games, guys. This is how you can lose games. Macros right here, macros. This is what you had supposed uh, this is what you're supposed to do. You caught the Diana right there. She was out of position. You go on the top lane, push out the top lane, get the in hip, take Drake. Um, D push because Warwick was pushing this way. D push bot lane, push it out of the Drake. Boom, 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 boom. Take this Drake. Boom, boom. Uh, turret. Take this turret. Red take in him. This is how you play it, guys. This is how you play it. Instead, you went for like I don't know diving action over here. All right, let me see what happens now. Okay, there is a fight going on on the mid lane. I need you guys to engage on that, bros. Yeah. Like Mordekaiser's team was like watching this. I think they couldn't do anything because of the Mordekaiser ult, no? I forget sometimes about it. Okay, nice. You killed all of them. <clears throat> yes. Thanks God. Who pinged this? Robert bought Rageblade? Yo, what is that build, bro? It's like kind of crit and lethality, huh? Crit lethality and some race blade on it. <coughs> All right, we got Baron up. There is a catch on Warwick because Warwick just uh, I don't know what he's smoking. He's like on the other on the opposite side of the of the map when he should be around here. So the call is what? Warwick is down. Of course, he do Baron. Echo, where are you going? Where are you going, my son? No, this is not the call. The call is Baron. Definitely. Warwick is down. I got one man down. <laughs> See, this is what I mean, man. A lot of people don't know anything about macros. When macros is so important, can lose you the games because of such moves. Look at, look at this. Echo could have ended the game right here. You could have won the game right here. But instead it's Viego. Viego is a broken champion, so Viego is doing it. Meanwhile, Echo pushing bot lane. For what for what reason? Like, do you see this man? So we got uh four people of them are down. Mordecai's is teleporting in, so that means you can take, you can end game. Let me see if they end game. I mean they have to like I mean, I think they are they are going for the end because uh the replay ends here. So definitely want to go for the for the end here. Echo is still busy taking this turret. When you can just group up over here and take the turret and end. There's the panther kill for my boy Viego and there's the end I think. While, while Echo is still pushing in bot lane by the way. Alright guys. Um, this is the replay review. Robert, I hope you can take something out of that. I liked how you um, managed the laning phase. But you did some um, some mistakes here and there, especially from the mid game till the late game. Watch the video again and write down the mistakes you did. Okay, it's really important to improve and to like realize the mistakes you did and to improve on these and to like um, um, in, in order to become a better player. You know what I'm saying? So definitely go through that again. Um, a lot of a lot of times you just got away. You you were lucky. You got away because like horrible mistakes by the enemy team all right guys for anyone else who also wants a replay review guys no problem 
I provide these for all the family members, as I said at the beginning, if you want to like, uh, if you don't have the, the 10 bucks, no problem. You can just sit in my stream, collect the points and get a replay review as well. All right. Thank you for all the channel members. Yeah. Thank you so much and um, for supporting me on that level. And with that being said, have a wonderful day. Peace.